Hi guys, welcome back. This is Professor Hank and in this video I'm going to briefly introduce you to Python keyword arguments. Okay, so let's go ahead and begin. So what are they? Well, what Python keyword arguments allow you to do is they allow you to pass arguments to parameters uh, by name. So this allows you to disregard the usual requirement that the order in which you pass arguments to a function you know matters you know normally uh, you're passing you know the first argument to a function that's going to go to the first parameter the second argument's going to the second parameter the third argument's going to the third parameter and so on right uh, with keyword arguments you don't need to keep that order anymore right and um, it's an option that you can use, you don't have to use, but you can. And it also allows you to kind of explicitly uh, name the parameters, right? So you're gonna need to know the name of the parameters for which you're assigning these arguments, right? So um, you'll see when we write the code for this, but essentially what you're gonna do is you're going to write out, you know, this argument's going to that parameter. So in a way it also, allows the code to become self-documenting to an extent right because you're saying no no i really want this value going into this particular parameter and so since you can explicitly state which value is going to which uh parameter you know your order is not going to matter anymore okay so let's take a look at an example program illustrating how to use or demonstrating how to use keyword arguments it's gonna, be a, it's gonna be a really quick one um, because there's not a lot here here it's it's pretty straightforward so let's go ahead and define a function um, and I'll just call that function spam right and I'll provide three parameters we'll just call it a B and C right and then I'll do something silly like just add up the total of those um, parameters and then print it out okay so something simple like that and then I'll define a main function here, which simply calls the spam function, and we'll call main, right? So now normally, if you know, you've got three parameters and you're gonna pass those to a function, you have to you know, pass the arguments, you, know, you separate them by commas, and the first argument's gonna go into the first parameter and the second argument is going to go into the second parameter and the third argument is going to go into the third parameter and so on. Um, let's go ahead and run this just to make sure that it works, right? So there's the output 21, 8 plus 6 plus 7, 21, fine. But with keyword arguments, what you can do is you can write code that looks like this. You can say, well, A equals 8, B equals 6, C equals 7. Right, and so if I run this, see, we're gonna get the same result in terms of output, but here I've kind of written out explicitly, right? I've spelled it out, I've said, look, eight's going into A and six is going into B and C's gonna get seven here, right? Um, now, the way I wrote it this time, or this for this first little mini example here, is I left the order the same, but you don't have to leave the order the same, right? So if you use these keyword arguments and you spell out you know what value is going to which variable then the order in which you pass them to the function doesn't matter right because the interpreter can look at the argument list here and go oh well seven is going into c right i mean they're little they're little assignment statements so it makes sense six going, is going into b eight's going into a so the order when you're using these things becomes completely irrelevant okay so there you go there's a quick example of how to use keyword arguments do you ever have to use them no never you never have to um, it's a thing that you see from time to time in python programs it's an option you know do use it don't but that's how it works okay so that's going to bring this video to a close if you felt that the video was useful please consider giving the video a thumbs up and if you thought that the video sucked well then you've got that thumbs down button as an option as well if you'd like to see more videos if you're interested in more content from the channel feel free to hit that subscribe button 
And as usual, if you're a student of mine and you have further questions, feel free to drop me an email or to stop by my office hours. Okay, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.